A convicted sexual predator returns to court for the second time in about a week. Today, James Adams was charged with raping and robbing a woman in Johnston in June. The new charges come just days after police suggested Adams could be linked to the unsolved death of a woman whose body was discovered in a Cranston garage last month. Eyewitness News reporter Nathan Uosu joins us live from Warwick with the latest developments. Well, Susan, James Adams was in court today answering to multiple felony charges, including rape and robbery. And as you mentioned, he was here just a week ago answering to a separate robbery charge. He is also a person of interest in that suspicious death out of Cranston. Please. Convicted and registered rapist James Adams may have struck again. The 31-year-old was arraigned Wednesday on four felony charges of sexual assault, robbery, carrying a firearm after being convicted of a violent crime, and assault with a deadly weapon. Johnson police say on June 24th of this year, Adams met a woman out in Providence. He then invited her back to his father's house where he allegedly raped and robbed her. Your Honor, uh, Mr. Adams is a superior court violator. Uh, the town would ask for a hold without bail on these charges. Police say Adams violated probation on his rape conviction from 2007. And just last week, Cranston police charged Adams with robbing a woman at gunpoint here on Farmington Avenue, the same street where police discovered the decomposing body of a woman inside a garage. Adams is a person of interest in that that suspicious death case. No plea was entered in court today. Adams will be held without bail and he's expected in Superior Court next week. And as for that suspicious death case out of Cranston, the one in which James Adams is a person of interest, we are told by the Department of Health that autopsy results for that victim still are not available. Live with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom in Warwick, I'm Nika Nwosu, Eyewitness News.